All right, so let's do this problem that says find critical values in the rejection region for the type of Z test with a level of significance alpha. Uh, so this is about hypothesis testing, and hypothesis testing is based on uh, certain areas on the standard normal curve, okay? Uh, if this was a one-tailed test, then I would be looking for the Z value, the value on the horizontal axis of the standard normal that had this area in the tail of the normal curve. Okay, if it's a two-tailed test, then I'm looking for the values where it, with half of this area in the tail. And I'll show you that in a picture. So half of this number is 0, 0, 0.025, 0 0.0025. So I'm going to go to Stack Crunch, and I'm going to get my normal calculator out. Let's see, this fitting. There we go. Okay. Uh, so here's the standard normal. It has a mean of zero, standard deviation of one. And I'm looking for uh, the point on the horizontal axis, okay, which is going to be this number as it shows up, that has an area of 0 0.0025. Is that what I said? I can't remember. Yeah, I think so. All right, and it will it will find that number for me if I push compute. Notice how this is blank now. It, so this will be the point on the horizontal axis with this amount of area in the tail. So see that red spot like right there? I wish that was bigger. Let's do just to magnify it a little bit. There, so it, like if we were looking closer, look like this. This is the area in the tail of point one in this case. And that spot right there on the horizontal axis is this number, 1.28. Now, then the number we wanted was 0 0.0025, okay? And that's a much smaller part of the tail, but same idea. So that number is 2.807. Okay, so that, that's the number that we want. Okay, so the critical values are 2.08. Sorry, what? Is it 087? can't remember, um, 2.08, rounded two decimal places, 2.9. And then because the normal distribution is symmetric, there's another area in the left side of the curve that's a negative number, okay? So it's a two-tailed test, a hypothesis test, a type of hypothesis test. So we'll get negative 2.09. All right, I think that was the number. Let's see. Okay, I got I gotta do it again. So it was 2.807, 2.81, I'm sorry. 2.81. 2.81, and then negative 2.81. Okay, so those are our numbers. Okay, those are the critical values. So the rejection regions would be Z values, okay? Values on this curve, okay, they would be in the tail, if you can imagine. Now, I'm going to have to zoom in and give you a different picture. But if I had, if I was doing a hypothesis test and I got a value over here bigger than this number, then that would be a rejection number, okay? And if we look at the other tail, if I got a value over here less than this number, then that would also be rejection. So in our case, like with the problem we're doing, if you got a value bigger than 2.81, meaning in, in the right tail somewhere, we would be rejecting in the hypothesis test. And we got a value less than negative 2.81, which would be on this other tail, that would also be a rejection region, okay? So now we just, we're gonna translate that into um this question so what what kind of numbers would you reject well so what did i just say uh less than negative 2.81 okay or more than 2.81 okay so then if like we perform the hypothesis test like 
however that goes, and there's more math in, to doing the entire hypothesis test. But if we got a values like this, then we would be rejecting in the hypothesis test, okay? And that's another story that, that deals with the entire procedure, but just as it pertains to this question, that would be the result, all right? Um, anyway, so from there, it'll ask us to, to do that graph, and, but this is the one I was trying to show you, right? The, like if we get a value of Z, meaning on, on the horizontal axis of the curve, over in the right tail or the left tail, which in our case, bigger than 2.81 or less than negative 2.81. That would amount to rejecting the null hypothesis in the hypothesis test. Okay, so it's not B, that, that wasn't the picture I showed you. And it's not C, that wasn't the picture I showed you. This would be a right-tailed test, but it says two-tailed. This would be a left-tailed test, but it says two-tailed. This has nothing to do with hypothesis testing at all, really. So it's this one, it's A, so I'll check that and it's all correct. All right, so hope that helps. Uh, any more questions, let me know.